man, I'm, I'm excited. 1.5, this has been so much work. I'm releasing 1.5 to you guys today and I have two amazing features that I wanna show you. We have multi-level dropdown and the ability to add a logo on the mobile menu. So let's dive in, let me show you how it works. All right, let's pretend I haven't set anything up and let's start from the beginning. So in WP Code Box, we're gonna add an SCSS sn snippet. So we will uh, go new snippet, title, header, and we're gonna change this to SCSS or partial if you guys know how to use those, but SCSS. We'll change this to external, we'll click save, tap auto reload changes, save it again and turn it on. Now I need to go to my download files. So we're gonna to go to my download files and find the SCSS folder, open up the, I'm gonna do the ACSS version. We're gonna copy all of it and paste it in. Now our CSS is set up. Let's go to our header template. If you haven't set one up, you're gonna to have to but I'm gonna edit mine and we're gonna paste in the JSON. So we're gonna go back to my downloads. We're gonna find out, find the header template folder, open this up in Visual Studio Code, copy the JSON and paste it in. Now we have a header set up. Let's add in a logo, make it easy. And let's start on the first thing. The, the first new feature I wanna show you guys is the ability to add in a mobile logo. So if I go to nav nestable, I can go down here and add nav items wrapper, mobile nav and mobile logo. We're gonna go ahead and find our logo here. Save it, check our front end. We see one logo, what about on mobile? It's not there. So we need to turn it on, it should be right here. So what we need to do is go to WP Code Box. We're gonna scroll up and we're gonna find our mobile settings, which should be here, mobile settings and mobile logo. Okay, I'm gonna turn this to true. And now check this out on a mobile, we have a logo and it will hide if you have a drop down open. So if we open it, the back button shows and the logo doesn't and so does the mega menu, same thing. There is a caveat, this is not 100% browser supported because it uses the function has. So just keep that in mind. If it is not browser supported, it just, it won't show. It, it won't show there, but if it does, it shows. So we have our logo, let's add some multi-level drop downs. This one's super cool really easy to implement. I'm gonna to go to my drop down menu here, my standard one, and I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm gonna open one up, open the content, and then drag the second one inside. And let's label this one level two so I can see it. And let's say I want another level. Well, I'm just gonna duplicate this one, open the second level one up, and then just drag this one in next to the nav links. We'll call this level three. We'll save, and if we go to the front end, we'll notice on desktop, it is working just fine, but on mobile, it won't. We need to make one adjustment. So what we need to do, I'll even show you on mobile. Let's do that real quick. Let's go to mobile, standard menu. We can open up the levels here. It works just fine, but when we click on the back button, it goes all the way back to the beginning. So let's fix that. We're gonna go WP Code Box, and we're gonna scroll up until we see multi-level dropdown. Let's turn this to true. Okay, and now we have multi-level dropdowns working. So if I go back, it goes back to level three, level two, and the very beginning. So this one's really easy to implement, it's super fast, and it gives you guys that full expandability that you're looking for. Especially if a client's like, oh, we need a ton of links in our navigation, you guys can handle that like a breeze. Another thing I just wanna showcase for users that have not seen this, the um, the mega menu templates. So I'm gonna open up my dropdown templates folder here. I'm gonna do dropdown Ruby. We are going to open this in text edit, copy it, find our nav items and paste it in. Let's find this bottom one. It looks like it added at the end. So let's move this to the top, I guess. That'll work. And let's select these images here. Let's add in some images. This one can be of the girl working out. This one can be of the dude working out. Oh, I just had it. There we go. Bah. All right, let's save and let's check this out. Okay, got a mobile, our mega menu set up. We got our expandable multi-level multi -level drop downs. Ugh, that's a tongue twister for some reason. We'll go inspect and let's check out our menu here working per 
perfectly, beautifully. This is multi-level drop-down working back, back, back. Look at that. How long did that take? What are we at right now, guys? Four minutes, five minutes? Took me five minutes to set that up, right? Super easy. You have to style it, granted, but that was five minutes. That's super cool. I, you know, seriously, thank you guys for all of your suggestions for um, updates to this. Uh, I, I would have never thought about these un unless you guys had mentioned them. So that's about it for the video. That is version 1.5. There's a lot that went into this. I had to refactor all of this CSS, um, but it's a lot easier for me to read now, a lot easier for me to work on, and there's even more expandability. So for instance, now these drop-down links, they work better. Before it was only clickable on the link itself, but now it's the entire portion here. It just looks a lot cleaner in the background color. looks a lot cleaner, just cleaner all around. Lots of things that have happened. Anyways, I hope to be back on YouTube very soon. I have been very busy. I'm doing some massive changes to my agency. I'm niching down and changing my product massively. So that's all coming into play and that's taking a large portion of my time, but I hope to be back on YouTube very soon. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.